Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tech Team Tronics channel, welcome new subscribers, thanks for checking it out. Um, what we're going to be discussing today is the Mini Tool Partition Wizard, the free edition 12.3. What is Mini Tool Partition Wizard? It is a partition management program for hard disk drives developed by Mini Tool Software Limited. What does Mini Tool Partition Wizard do? It is a partition management software for Windows that can perform lots of different tasks on hard drives and partitions. It can copy, format, delete, wipe, and extend and resize partitions. Also, Mini Tool Partition Wizard will convert GPT disk to MBR disk and MBR disk to GPT. There is a data backup, data recovery, partition recovery, and disk benchmark, and much more. And we're going to take a look at this today in the software. And I just want to do a quick look over at what we have. And I'm very excited about this software because it has many different things you can do. Now, there is a free version and a paid version the paid version you could go on their website which i'll have a link in the description for you to follow up on to find out the pricing and they also have a free edition that you can download as well i'm excited about the free edition we have a couple of things that we have to do today but before i move forward i want to talk about the features of the mini tool partition manager it makes recovering lost files and partitions and deleted files easier. Software has a wizard that makes performing data partition recovery a simple task. Also, there's a powerful disk clone tool that makes backup and upgrade of the hard drive extremely easy. The cloning tool is excellent for instant backup. And then we have striking this diagnostics master feature, what makes many tool partition wizard capable of managing your disk usage. It detects logical file problems and can also measure disk read and write speed. So let's take a look at what we have. I'm just going to run through the options here. And what we have is data backup. But like a lot of times what will happen is like when I clicked on data backup, it's actually another separate service that you can buy for a different price. And the part we're dealing with the partition management software. So what we have is we can migrate OS to SSD HD wizard. We can copy a partition wizard. We can copy a disk wizard, partition recovery wizard. This is the, this since I have a GPT disk, I can convert it to an MBR disk. I could wipe the disk. I could delete all partitions. I could align all partitions, do a surface test, partition recovery, disk properties, data recovery. It also in this window here it lists everything about the partition. And um, and then you have like the apply and the undo. As you see, my disk here is broken up into four partitions. It tells you everything. And I also want to point out too that I had a memory stick, which I thought I had a memory stick in which I thought I had bricked. And as soon as I plug it into the computer, it actually recognizes it and as it turns out I installed AV Linux and I did some operation to the memory stick to make it not recognizable by Windows so let's plug this in and see what we have and when I plug in the disk and when I plug in the disk as you can see it automatically pulls it up it's a 7.61 gigabyte disk and it has four gigabytes on use it's fat 32 now does my Explorer see it um let me see does my Explorer see it as you can see 
my explorer does not see it for some reason. Like we have an A, a D, and my shared drives. But this, but this disk here, we can take a look at the properties and see that it doesn't have a... I mean, we could change the letter if we wanted to. And this is why. We don't have a current drive letter, so I could add a drive letter to it if I wanted to. So that's some of the features that you have. You can really manage your partitions with this software. It is not bad at all. I'm excited about it, and I hope you guys are excited about it as well. And if you haven't already, just feel free to check out the links about it in the description field of this video. I thought I had a broken memory stick, and as it turns out that I don't have a broken memory stick, it actually is not formatted with a drive letter. It is a drive number. And as you see, it appeared right up there. So there is a lot to this, a lot more to it than I can even tell you. But we could go through some more of the tabs and take a look at, uh, this is general where I'm at, right? Then we have legend bar, disk map locations, change font, language. You can do it in French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Portuguese. Um, let's see, it gives you the options that you could do for your disk. You can move, resize partitions, merge, split, you perform data recovery. But a lot of these options, you're going to find if you have the free version, you're going to have to upgrade to get some of the advanced features like data recovery and so on and so forth. They have a fact check, facts section, they have contents for help. You could contact them, you could check for updates, you could debug it. Export log, export this configuration, make a screenshot, make the bug image, restore the bug image, export NTFS file record. So there is like so much to it. Now there is um, the data recovery. And you have... Uh, Partition recovery, but unfortunately this tool cannot save the search partitions to save the search partitions uh, To save the lost partitions you need to upgrade to pro deluxe or higher editions That's just how it is nothing's for free, but I mean this is a great software and I don't think I'd give it away for free um, I mean I'd give you a sample of it for free like as they are doing here but there's, there's a lot to it. Let's see, we could benchmark a disk. Let's see, we benchmark my T Force. Do a little testing to see what we have. It's testing this, so we'll just wait it out for a second. So it breaks down the transfer rates and everything. What I have is an N by N N N B M E S S D, and this computer here. Uh, so we're testing all the different transfer sizes and seeing what we have. So, I mean, it's pretty advanced software. You can't beat it with a stick. And I plan on getting the full version down the road. So this is where we are. So I did the disk benchmark. Now we have the space analyzer. 
they can scan the space. This tells you additional information about the disk that you may or may want, want may or may not want to know. But it breaks out all your disk usage into different. Uh, I have total space of 1.86 terabytes. I have 395.61 gigabytes used, with a total free space of 1.48 terabytes. Not bad. Not bad. Tells you the file types and everything. So now I'll scoot over here to bootable media. You're going to need to upgrade to unlock advanced features. So you can see the prices when you go to the site yourself. They have a manual here. And it tells you everything that you need to know. It's broken out by different things, you know, chapters in which you need to know. Um, you can register enter your license code and that sort of thing and that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen well hey if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit the like if you are not a subscriber feel free to subscribe to this channel for upcoming projects and things like that and uh, the next upcoming project is uh, I may make it part of this video I may not make it part of this video I don't know yada 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 but it needs to be done is uh, we're going to upgrade another computer. We're going to install this on another machine and we're going to perform the clone. Um, we're going to clone the hard drive feature. We're going to clone an SSD to another SSD. So you definitely want to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Well, thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.